My name is George Lovell. I'm a vision scientist here in the psychology division at Abate. What we did is we ran an experiment where we allowed quail to lay eggs on one of four differently coloured substrates and we recorded the location where they laid their eggs and then we measured the, visit the visibility of those eggs on the places where they laid and on the places where they didn't lay. Um, I mean, essentially what we know is that quail vary a lot in the characteristics of their eggs. You can see here that the eggs on the left come from one female and the eggs on the right come from a different female and they tend to vary in, to a small extent in the coloration but to a large extent they vary in the amount of the egg that has spotting, what's often called maculation. So some eggs have very, relatively small amounts of spotting and other eggs have quite a lot of spotting. And what we found was that there was a strong pattern in the choices that the birds made which suggested that the eggs were being laid in order to optimise the camouflaging of the eggs. If we order the eggs by the amount of spotting on their surface, like that, what we see is that for the least spotted eggs at the top of the screen here, you can see that they tended to lay the eggs onto a lighter coloured sand. And then where the eggs have a lot of spotting on the surface, just around 50% or more, they tended to choose a much darker substrate to lay on. And this seemed to reflect a strategy to maximise the camouflaging of their eggs. For the very lightly spotted eggs, for example this one, what they, they seem to be doing is, is choosing to, a sand to lay on which matches the colour of the egg's background, the lighter part of the egg. And this, this is often called a background matching strategy and it makes it very hard to see the outline of the egg where the egg is laid. Um, the other strategy seems to be that they choose to match the spotting colour of the egg to the substrate instead. It is often called disruptive coloration, and what happens with disruptive coloration is, is that the finding of the outline of the egg is made more difficult uh, because the predator uh, is, is led to make the wrong assumptions about where the boundary between the egg and the background lies. And th this misattribution of the boundary means that it's harder to spot the egg-shaped thing in the scene. Okay, so I'm a vision scientist. I'm interested in the visibility of things. I think that vision science has a lot to offer research in camouflage because our knowledge of the processes underlying the visibility of things, how, the, how we separate colours from luminance, how we identify the outlines of objects and things like that, can give rise to model predators in this instance, which can estimate how visible something would be to a particular species. And that's, so that's essentially what we offer in collaboration, is, is an understanding of the behaviour of the animal comes from the biologists and then the vision scientist can assess the results of that behaviour, how visible the eggs are in this instance. <laughs>